Good morning, you guys. I am on the way to the gym. I don't know why I always feel so motivated to start vlogging while I'm like in my car, but it's around 8 a.m. I'm sipping on a Celsius and I'm gonna take you guys through my workout. So today's a pull day, which is back and biceps. And then after that, I definitely have a little bit of catching up with you guys to do. I just wanna keep you all updated. Tomorrow, I'm leaving on a trip. I'm going to Oregon. So today's vlog is gonna be how I prepare for trips and get ready for them and just what I do to make sure that I'm gonna be the most successful. You guys have said that you really like day in the life and you just want to see more of my life which I love I really want to make my channel a place yes where it's focused towards fitness but then also just my life in general so that's this I'm definitely going to be doing more vlogs more day in the life week in the life just stuff like that so let's go to the gym I'm going to take you guys through my pull day and then we'll have a little chit chat after my pull day and I am wow it is so beautiful outside you guys something about California is that I feel like it gets even prettier in the winter because it never really gets that cold we'll have a few days where it's kind of chilly or it's rainy in general it's always sunny and in this week the weather's just been perfect because it's been a solid like 65 so it's like cool enough to wear long sleeves but it's still sunny and beautiful outside so I've just been loving the weather I showed you guys my workout so in general you know what I'm gonna be talking about but recently I've been focusing on less about the quantity of the exercises and more on like how heavy I'm going because I'm really trying to build muscle but then again I'm also trying to stay as lean as possible I don't know if I want to call it a cut because I'm not really tracking macros at the moment a while ago I was but especially around the holiday season I just find it's so hard and it's like almost impossible especially with Thanksgiving coming up and just all of that it's just not reasonable for me right now to try tracking I'm pretty much just eating intuitively prioritizing my protein intake avoiding the super like high fat foods just right now for my own goals but then of course i'm gonna be eating all the yummy foods on thanksgiving 
which is something that I really wanted to talk to you guys about. Like, for example, today, later you're gonna see I actually have a Friendsgiving, and I literally had a Friendsgiving yesterday too, so I'm basically having three Thanksgivings, and I know that Thanksgiving is sometimes a topic that's pretty sensitive for some people and creates a lot of anxiety or worry when it comes to fitness and food and reaching your goals while still enjoying this, and I kind of talked about it in my previous video, but my mentality around this is that you only live once. Thanksgiving is a time about enjoying the company of those around you, seeing people that you maybe haven't seen in a long time, catching people up with your life. Everything's super, super important. And honestly, the least important thing about this holiday is the food. If you have fitness goals that you wanna achieve, and I'm in no way, shape or form telling you not to eat Thanksgiving food or do eat Thanksgiving food or stuff yourself or don't eat anything. I'm saying you have to find what works for you. And if you know that your fitness goals are more important to you than say eating pie, don't eat the pie. And also don't let what other people might say affect how you are going about your Thanksgiving. But I will say you only live once and if you want the pie, eat the pie because just like one workout didn't give anyone abs, one piece of pie isn't gonna get rid of yours and making memories over food is such an important thing. Like for my family, the way that like me and my grandparents bond and just everyone at Thanksgiving is we all make the food together. Like my grandpa's favorite food is lemon meringue pie. So we make that every Thanksgiving and a big part of that is enjoying that pie with him. So I'm gonna be eating pie and if you want to, you should too. But I also know that family can get really judgy and for example, like a bodybuilder, I don't know if any of you guys are, but if you're on prep or anything like that or you're just taking your cut very seriously, people can get really judgy about food choices. So I just wanted to remind you that your body is yours, your food choices are yours and you should do whatever makes you comfortable. But you should never feel like you can't eat the food at Thanksgiving. So don't let people's opinions on your choices affect you and you should do what you want. But also, I just want to remind you that this is really a time of memories and you should enjoy your Thanksgiving and not be worried about feeling bloated the next day. Now that I've said that and gotten that out of the way, I also wanted to give you guys just a few little tricks and tips that I have when it comes to Thanksgiving in terms of enjoying food while still reaching my fitness goals. Honestly, you guys, Thanksgiving is a pretty healthy healthy meal. I mean, if you think about it, we got turkey, that's a good source of protein. There's green beans, sweet potatoes, great sources of carbs. What else? Um, mashed potatoes, more great sources of carbs. So if you think about it, if you portion control, Thanksgiving is a pretty healthy meal. I think that there's just a really big culture of overeating on this holiday. And again, if you do, it's fine. Life is meant to be enjoyed. We are meant to overindulge sometimes. It's all good. But I also think that there's a big culture of like stuffing yourself on Thanksgiving. And and I just want to remind you guys that you don't have to and you can make this a very healthy meal for yourself For me, I always make sure that when I get my first plate and of course you guys if I'm hungry I'm gonna go up for seconds. I make sure to get a lot of turkey get my protein in I'll get some greens my green beans and then I'll do my carbs And then I make sure to hit an amazing workout after you guys food is fuel food is energy And if you use this surplus of food that you might be eating on Thanksgiving and hit an amazing workout after all of that energy is gonna go into your workout yesterday I had my friends giving and I did a pull day today I'm trying to grow my back I'm trying to get a super toned muscular back so I made sure to lift extra heavy today and I'm putting all of that food and energy into my lift I also ran two miles and I think because of having all of those extra carbs it was such an easy run for me and then I also finished up with 10 minutes on the Stairmaster not at all because oh I have to burn off the food I'm gonna eat today or yesterday or anything like that but the Stairmaster was so much easier than it usually is if you view Thanksgiving as an opportunity to get more protein get more carbs give your body lots of extra energy and then you hit an amazing workout the next day you can literally make the most of Thanksgiving and enjoy all the good food make all the good memories and help your fitness goals especially for my ladies who are trying to grow their booty this is a very good opportunity to get lots of extra food in and then have a killer workout and then when it comes to dessert you guys if you know you know I am a huge dessert person I like Thanksgiving food well enough but when it comes to dessert that's where I shine I never skip dessert I always have to have something sweet after every meal and when it comes to Thanksgiving in general I just accept that I'm gonna be a little bit more bloated the next day I'm literally lactose intolerant and most of the dessert at Thanksgiving has dairy So usually I'll just take a lactate pill and enjoy myself But then I also really work on being in tune with my body listening Stopping when full or stopping a little bit past fullness if it's super 
super good but you just have to listen to your body and know that at the end of the day one day isn't going to change your body and this is a holiday that you should focus on the people that you're with and when you start focusing more on the people and less about the food it takes away the pressure to overdo it and it also will help take away any guilt that you might be feeling over overindulging which again you guys i don't think that you should feel guilty so please don't take it at all like that i'm just saying i know that a lot of people struggle with this especially if they have fitness goals if you're like i'm trying to lose weight or i'm trying to cut but i want to enjoy myself and then you find yourself feeling guilty after please don't because one day is not going to change your body and if anything it's just going to give you more energy for your workout the next day so if there's something that you take away from this video it's that food should be enjoyed thanksgiving should be enjoyed enjoy the time with people you love and don't stress about this holiday because it is such a beautiful time and at the end of the day you can really take this food and use it to your advantage so i hope that that gave anyone a little bit more peace of mind if you were struggling with anything like that in terms of this holiday and yeah now that that's out of the way i also wanted to talk to you guys about kind of a life update i guess i can't really get too specific because nothing is set in stone but i feel like right now i'm in a really big era of change and i'm just really learning to embrace it which is kind of hard for me i often have a certain set view of how my life is gonna go and just stuff like that and i mean just starting a youtube channel changed my life so much and i'm just really doing a lot of reflecting on my life where i want it to go my fitness goals my school goals college college, diving, sports, just pretty much everything. I just feel a big change coming and just a few opportunities that I've had recently and life decisions that I'm making. And I just kind of wanted to touch on change and how it should be embraced because I was on my Pinterest and I saw a quote and it was like, times of uncertainty should be embraced because if you don't know anything, it means that anything is possible. And I don't know, that really stuck with me because often I look at change as like a negative thing or something to be like kind of scared of or hesitant about. But seeing it as an opportunity to achieve anything that you want and like really just like taking advantage of times of uncertainty and the unknown really cast a different light on how I view uncertainty and accepting change and all of that and yeah so I don't know that got kind of deep but that was just what I wanted to talk to you guys about now I'm gonna drive home shower change I'll probably work on editing this video that you guys are watching a little bit make myself some coffee surprisingly I'm not hungry yet you guys know I only really eat when I'm hungry I don't like force myself to eat if I'm not hungry and I don't stop myself from eating when I am last night we had had friendsgiving number one today's friendsgiving number two and i literally ate so much you guys like we ate good we had lots of energy for this workout but now i'm not really hungry anymore i have a pretty slow digestion that's why so i'm probably just gonna go home make myself some coffee maybe a protein shake i haven't decided i do want to make sure i get a lot of protein in today because i had such a good workout so anyways i'm gonna go home shower do all of that and then i'll pick up the camera a little bit later and we'll see what we're doing just made myself a coffee if you guys don't know already i just use nespresso pods and then i'll do almond milk sugar-free vanilla and then i have like a hand frother foamer i don't know what to call it i got it off amazon and seriously if you guys don't have one you need to buy it it makes it like really nice and foamy on the top so i love it also i'm gonna link my whole workout outfit for you guys in the description box below because i'm literally obsessed i also put it on my instagram story but i don't know when this is gonna be up so i'll link it again for you guys but this top obviously you saw it in my workout video but i just want to show it to you guys again it's literally from amazon it was like $20 I think it's so cute and flattering and then these shorts are also Amazon and the patterns match literally obsessed now I'm gonna shower I don't think I'm gonna wash my hair because I'll probably end up showering again before Friendsgiving I just texted one of my friends and we're actually gonna go shopping because I want to find a pair of jeans for my trip so yeah that's what today is looking like I'm gonna go shower and then I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of my skincare routine I know I've been saying this for like so long but I promise I will make a dedicated skincare video I've just changed a few 
things and I'm testing it out a little bit to make sure it's what I like before I show you guys. I do have a few like pimples, one here, one here that just popped up recently. And I know that I have really good skin compared to some people, but it's not normal for me to have like this. And I think it's called cystic acne where it's like underneath your skin. So it's not like an actual pimple, but it just hurts when I touch it. So I've kind of altered my skincare routine a little bit to try to fix that. So I'll show you guys what I'm currently doing when I'm done and out of the shower. I'm gonna go do my skincare and a little bit of makeup, but I just wanna show you guys what I'm wearing. So my top is from Garage and then these jeans are from American Eagle. A lot of people have been asking about my jewelry. This necklace is from Anthropology, and then pretty much all my earrings are from Amazon as well as this. And I can link something close to it at least down below. I don't know if I still have like the exact links, but I'll find something very similar. No one asked, but I'm literally obsessed. This is the perfume that I use. It's from Anthropology as well. It's the vanilla one. And this is actually one of the very few perfumes that I find stays on me and makes me smell good the entire day. So if you guys are looking for a good vanilla perfume, I definitely recommend this one. And it's from Anthropology. Okay, hopefully this gives you guys a good view. I still have... <sighs> I literally still have makeup on from last night. I got home from another Friendsgiving and I was like way too lazy to take it off. So let's see what we're working with. The first thing that I like to do, I probably should have done this before I put on my clothes, but whatever. I always make sure to wash my face, especially after I work out. And I'm using this Stubborn Texture Daily Cleanser from Neutrogena. So I'm gonna wash my face with this really quick. At nights, I like to go in with this. It's an oil-free acne wash scrub. So it's supposed to clear breakouts, get rid of dead skin, all of that. But I just usually do this at night. I just think it's a little bit extra. I do this every morning. It's this hydrating eye cream and I got it from Trader Joe's. And you just put a little bit and then you tap it around your fingers. I think it's supposed to help just like illuminate your eyes, just kind of in general, make yourself look brighter. So I've been doing that. Um, I'll keep you guys updated. It's something pretty recent. So I can't tell you if it works or not but I don't know, I kind of like it. It makes my skincare routine feel a bit more bougie. This is Different Gel. And I got this one at Target. And honestly, you guys, I don't know much about Different Gel. I know it's a retinoid and it's supposed to help with acne and removing dark spots. So I just like put a little bit, I'll rub it between my fingers and then I put it on like the main points where I have pimples and breakouts. So thankfully it's only two spots right now, but then I'll also just put it where I have like past marks of acne and I'll rub it through my face. Um, I know that some people have reactions to Different Gel. So definitely if you're concerned, ask a doctor before using it because it can make your skin very dry. So far, I haven't had any irritation or anything like that. And it's worked really well for me in the past. So that's what I'm doing right now. And I'll also keep you updated with that. And then I think I'm not gonna do like a full face of makeup or anything right now because I'm gonna do my makeup later when I go to Friendsgiving. So I don't wanna put like makeup on my face twice. But I just got this Glow Serum Hydro Boosting Primer, but it also has, oh God, I don't know how to say this. Hyaluronic Acid. Anyways, Neutrogena makes it. I got it from Target. It's primer, but it has the same kind of acid that goes in pimple patches. And I really like how glowy it makes my face look. So I'll probably just put this on. Maybe a little bit of concealer, a little highlight, but nothing too fancy. I literally have my mascara on from last night and honestly, I'll probably just keep it. So that's literally what we're gonna do. And yeah, that's the skincare products that I'm using right now. I'll give you guys the full in-depth skincare story, skincare products, night, day, shower. I'll give you all of that in a separate video, but these are the products that I use pretty much every morning after shower and yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead, finish up my makeup. You guys will see it obviously. And then I'll catch up with you guys when I'm done. This is the finished look. I just rebraided my hair because like I said, I haven't fully showered yet. So we are very oily, but 
I have a little package from Gymshark that I wanted to open with you guys. I don't know if it's still going to be happening by the time I post this, but the Black Friday sale was happening and I of course bought something. So I'm very excited about it. I should probably cut this. Oh my god, that was really hard to open for no reason. I got myself a sports bra because recently I felt like extra motivated. I was going through a phase where I didn't really want to go to the gym that much, wasn't feeling the most confident, and biggest life hack that I can offer you guys if you're ever not feeling motivated or you are feeling motivated and you want to reward your motivation, buy yourself more gym clothes. So basically, buy yourself more gym clothes, no matter what you're feeling, because you deserve it. But anyways, I got myself this sports bra, very, very excited. It's like this very minimal light support one. It's super, super cute and the back is why I got it. It's already open to begin with, but this is actually removable. And then it's like a full halter top sports bra moment. So very excited to wear this. You'll definitely see it in a future video. Now I'm gonna pack a little bit while I wait for her to come pick me up and then we're gonna go shopping. Also guys, please don't think that my life is always put together. Like literally this is my room right now. I have my clothes thrown all over the floor. I'm literally sitting on a pile of clothes right now because I'm too lazy to put them away for packing while I edit. So I don't know, I wanna show you guys like the kind of real side of my life. I am a teenage girl. My room does get messy and I do get lazy and I decide that I would rather sit on my clothes than put them away. Guys, we're back with Scarlett. Yay. We're going shopping again. But <laughs> hopefully, we're a little bit more lucky. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I was texting you and I was like, we're probably just gonna do some window shopping. Yeah. <laughs> Considering our luck. Yeah, last time we went to the mall. This time, we're just gonna go to our downtown area and look at the boutiques. But I wanna find a pair of jeans for my trip. So we're on a mission. Are you leaving tomorrow? Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, guys, I was actually supposed to leave for my trip this weekend and then my brother got sick and stuff happened and actually worked out because now I can go to the plans that I had but um, I was supposed to leave this weekend and I still haven't left yet so hopefully we're leaving tomorrow but we're gonna go shopping and then we'll give you a haul if we find anything discovered a new coffee shop so we got coffee we show them what you got i got a matcha it's so good and i just got a plain drip coffee and i added almond milk and my own sweetener because i don't know i just like it better i'm in my hot coffee era now that it's officially cold yes but yeah um and now we're gonna go shopping we have a few boutiques that we want to find and awesome. then <laughs> yeah, i was just gonna say As we're walking also into <laughs> we will be back for lulu <laughs> shopping and it was yet another flop at least last time we got something this time there was actually nothing so it's not our fault <laughs> yeah it's not our fault no, we're just trying not a good selection. yeah, yeah we everything tried. was bad which yeah. is okay i'll just it's fine well it's it's all kind of like mom boutiques yeah but true. sometimes you get lucky and sometimes Sometimes you get hot mom stuff and sometimes <laughs> there's just not it. And today was just not it. It was fun though. Coffee, it was. chit chat. Oh a yeah, little bit we of tried a new window. coffee place. Oh yes, very good coffee. So yes. yeah, kind of a flop, but still fun. getting ready this is the finished look I'm just gonna do my hair the same way honestly I really like it and this is what I ended up picking to wear it's this white sweater that I actually thrifted and then this black leather skirt which is from Princess Polly I'll relink those down below but I also have a whole Princess Polly haul video up so you guys should definitely check that out if you're curious about fashion stuff in general I also wanted to remind you guys that I do work with Casetify and this case is from Casetify it says everything you can imagine is real and I seriously love their cases so much 
I have a billion of them. I also just ordered some new AirPod cases. Their cases are just so high quality. They have so many styles to choose from and they actually gave me a discount code. So you guys can use code 15 Omelie D for 15% off your order. I'll put it on the screen as well. But yeah, I love case by cases. This is literally so cute. It motivates me every day. I like how you have to think a little bit to understand it. But anyways, I just thought that I would tell you guys that super quick. Grant's here to get me, so I have to hurry up, but this is the finished product. Once again, ignore my room, but I'm all ready, and now we are headed out to Friendsgiving, and of course, I'll show you guys all the good food and all that stuff when we get there. So I just got back from Friendsgiving, and it was literally so fun. I got to see so many people that I hadn't seen in actually like a really long time, and there was a lot of good food. I had like salad, turkey, all the good stuff. There was some really good apple pie, but now I'm back. It's only like almost 10 o'clock about, but I'm waking up tomorrow at like 3.30 because we're driving to Oregon, so we're leaving really early at like 4.00. Four, and I'm still gonna have some packing to do in the morning just like makeup and toothbrushes and just like everything that you kind of have to do day of but I wanted to show you guys I literally ordered this today and it had same day shipping I'm going to New York later this month and I wanted like a good puffer jacket because it gets really cold there in the winter and I have a few other ones but I wanted a new one I needed an excuse so I ordered this it's like leather, leather puffer jacket, which I feel like is perfect for the city. So let me try it on for you guys. We'll see if I like it. And I got it in a medium, hoping that it's gonna be a little bit oversized. Oh my gosh, I am obsessed. I got this from Hollister. If you guys are looking for a puffer jacket or you want something kind of leathery or good for city style, definitely get this. It wasn't too expensive compared to the other ones that I've seen, so I'll link that down below. But you guys, like, get ready for the New York content. So that's a little sneak peek. That's what I just ordered today, which is literally insane. I'm gonna end the vlog off here. I'm honestly still kind of hungry, so I'm probably gonna go downstairs and make myself some protein pancakes. So I'll show you guys that. I'm gonna wrap up the night pretty early tonight. I'll do my skincare, take a shower. I'll probably end up packing a little bit. I just wanted to remind you guys, please subscribe if you aren't subscribed already. It helps me so much. And this community is already growing so fast. And every single one of you literally means the world to me. And every subscription, helps and then also if you haven't already follow my other social media platforms in general it's just Amelie Desai they'll all be linked down below in the description box I have TikTok Instagram Pinterest I post a lot of content fitness fashion lifestyle all of that so if you haven't already please follow those and with that I will see you in the next one